The question is not will it be nonviolence versus violence, but whether a human being can practice his God-given right of self-defense. Shot down like a common animal, he died a warrior for black liberation. If the generation before him had not been afraid, he perhaps would be alive today. Remember like Solomon, there is a time for everything, a time to be born, a time to die, a time to love, a time to hate, a time to fight, and a time to retreat. In the name of brotherhood and survival, remember Bobby. All power to the people, you did. See, life is very simple for some people. You wake up, eat, take a shit, and do whatever the hell else you want to do. And some people can ignore it so well, but I never could. My only wish is that you don't forget. It's like this. We came to America in chains. Go to jail, get locked in chains. And then die. Shut up in a box. When I was three years old, my family moved to Oakland. We was ran out by some punk ass white boys called Night Riders. You know who those are? Same as these pigs in updated uniforms. And we ain't afraid of them, you dig? Black Panther Party for Self Defense, founded by Huey P. Newton and Bobby Seale, October 1966. First recruit, Robert James Bobby. First treasurer of the Black Panther Party for Self Defense. <laughs> I'll never forget. That's ever, big man Howard. He repeated Newton, the defense minister in the middle. Sherman Forte and Chairman Bobby Seale at the top. And then at the bottom, that's Reggie Forte and me. November 1966. And we were about that action, you did. Handcuffed and thrown in jail, twice. One at the protest, and then again on May 22nd when I stood in front of a courthouse. Pigs say I violated the law from 1887. Saying I couldn't have my gun on me while I adjacent to a jail. Check this out. The law don't apply to no black man. Because laws were meant to serve the people. And laws change according to benefit the system. Not the people. In my 16 years living in America. One thing I never experienced was. Freedom. And we were determined to get our freedom by any means necessary. You did. Good evening. Dr. Martin Luther King, the apostle of nonviolence in the civil rights movement, has been shot to death in Memphis, Tennessee. If the Panthers don't get violent with these motherfuckers, then we will cease to be the vanguard of the revolution. Eldridge Cleaver was worried that if the Panthers didn't take decisive action, they would cease to be the vanguard. So he had this idea of actually actively attacking the police. They can't take our freedom because it don't belong to them, you dig? It belongs to us. If we want the power to determine our own destiny, we got to take it. Check this out. I'd rather die on my feet than live on my knees, you dig? Hey, man, let me out right here. I got to piss. There them niggas is. <laughs> them Panther black motherfuckers. Fuck! Them pigs been following us, man. Shit. Look, man. The only way we gonna be able to get out is if we go out naked. Hell no, man! They surrounded us! Man, I've already been shot. 
It's the only way. Hell no, nah, man. They will kill us naked or not. Look, no body. We have to. Fight, man. Take him, my girl. Shoot! All I ever wanted was freedom, justice, and equality. But instead, I got deaf.